Hi, I'm Sophie Schlesi here at Sundance 2012 in the THR Video Lounge at Village at the Lift. We are here with Damian Eccles and Lori Davis of West of Memphis. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Uh, I have to know, what was going through your mind at the big premiere last night? What were the emotions kind of like? It was a little overwhelming just because, you know, we've seen, watched the movie several times, you know, while working on it, looking at previous cuts, but this was the very first time that we've ever watched it with a big audience and it's extremely emotionally overwhelming when you do especially seeing you know other people's reactions there you know at the end of it when they gave the standing ovation it's one of those things that you feel like you can't even talk for a few minutes and you're just extremely grateful for it. It seems we've gotten a very very positive response here in Park City so congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you um, what have you guys been up to since, since you've been out? A lot of traveling. We went yeah. to New Zealand for a couple months and mm -hmm. stayed with Peter and Fran there. And we've just sort of been trying to put a life together here. You know, it's been pretty hectic and we've been on the move a lot. So we're just doing the best we can to keep moving forward. Have you been in touch with family, friends? Yeah, uh, Jason's here with us now. You know, he's been my best friend ever since we were kids. He was the, one of the other guys that was in prison at the same time I was. Um, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh, when you were approached kind of about this project, were you familiar with Peter Jackson's work at all? I know you were locked up when Lord of the Rings came out and all that Well, kind they of used stuff. to show him in the prison. You okay. know, I had seen all three of them probably five times each because you had charity or, uh, a charity organization that would come in around holidays, you know, like Christmas or Thanksgiving when times were really tense. You know, people are just thinking about how they're missing one more Christmas and they would play these movies to sort of you know, calm things down. And when they would put the Lord of the Rings movies on, the entire prison would go dead quiet. Everybody would watch it because while they're on, you're not in prison anymore. You know, you were having this adventure along with the people in it. So they were actually huge hits in, in the prison system. Now this whole case has had a very strong celebrity following, a lot of um, Hollywood people getting involved. Were you starstruck at all by the people that wanted to help with your case? You are initially in the beginning, but as, as time goes by and you get to know them better and you become friends and then you start to love them like, you know, your own flesh and blood family, then you don't really think of them the same way anymore. You don't think of them in that vein, you know, like, you just, you know, like with Peter. When we're sitting at, at the table having supper at night, it's almost hard to reconcile the guy you're having dinner with with the person who made The Lord of the Rings. You know, you don't even think of them in that way anymore, if that makes any sense. It does. It definitely does. And I'm curious, the movie touched a little bit on this, but I'm curious about, to delve a little bit deeper into it, your love story and how you two met. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because, I mean, it's definitely an unconventional courtship. It, yes, definitely. <laughs> I would hope so, anyway. Um, uh, I saw Paradise Lost in 1996 in New York, where I was living, and um, I was greatly affected by the film and had I just felt uh, kinship with Damien because I'm also from the South and I know how things work down there. And, um, and I just really wanted to reach out to him to help. And, that, and then two years later I was living in Arkansas and four years later, and, and that was actually 17 years ago. Yeah. What was your kind of response to being contacted by her while you were... Oh, I, I knew I loved her from the very beginning, you know, from the very first time, the very first letter I ever got from her, I knew this was someone completely unlike anyone I'd ever known before. And I just wanted more, you know, it was almost like starving. It was like um, coming alive again. You know, I'd been put in this situation where I was really almost dying internally. And then when Lori came into my life, it was really like being rejuvenated and revived. What did your family say about this one? You know, I, I kept it um, private for four years, and then um, before we got married, I told my family, and it took them a while because it was shocking and scary to them, And but they educated themselves, and then after that, they became our strongest supporters, and Perfect. came down to visit Damien That's, in prison, yeah. and they've just been wonderful throughout. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, this film's brought forth new witnesses in the case. Mm -hmm. What are the next steps? What do you, where do you see this progressing? Um, well, I think what we're hoping is more witnesses will come forward. I mean, we're, we're, we're pushing the tip line because the more information that gets out there, the more people in Arkansas are realizing we just can't keep quiet any longer and, and they're coming forward. So we're going to continue the investigation and implore people to come forward and help us with this so that these three men can be exonerated and that the actual killers um, 
will be tried and, and put in prison. You know, this, we, this mm. film for us is only a partial sense of closure because really we won't have a complete and total sense of closure until we are completely exonerated, the people that belong in jail are in jail, and the corruption in the system in Arkansas has been exposed. Yeah. Only then will we have closure. So, you know, this isn't like a victory lap for us. It's almost like a midpoint. Yeah. It's ongoing. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Now a little bit on a lighter note here. What are you guys doing for fun while you're in Park City? <laughs> Playing in the snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. You know, that was one of the things that I missed the most while I was in prison is snow. You know, really? Yeah, you never go out. I, I was in solitary confinement for almost 10 years and you never go outside, you never you know, get to experience the rain or the snow or anything like that and it was one of the things that I would think about that I missed most and I didn't have it until I got here to Park City <laughs> and it started snowing and it's, I like to just look at it out the window. Is that emotional for you? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have snow in Arkansas? Every once in a while, not like here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine. All right, thank you so much guys. Congratulations on us. the film. Thank Loved you. it. For more on Sundance 2012, check back at THR.com.